gets up on the inside, down the back straight. Oh, and he's over. Big time over. Red line on. He finishes with uh, Eggins and Warren King. He's moving in the car. He's getting out. Give him a round of applause. Yeah, give it up. The old man will be up there. Young fellas, all right, Gordon. the jacks out. Remember they got no solid concrete or anything. I thought that he's just bringing a Gatorade for him to have a little bit of a few and a half minutes, was it? All go. Yeah, they can put a line there. Nick on the infield as we go racing. It's the second 25. This is the money section. And Andrew Pazuti gets away nicely. The uh, Red Lake car out of Western Australia trying to get on the inside of the, uh, the Australian pipe holder. And the smart drivers out there. Which Andrew Pazuti and Peter Britt, Cannon, Red Lane. We'll show them they've got the smarts out there. They're on the inside. He goes to the outside in turn three. Sticks to the outside in turn four. You wouldn't expect somebody like Pazuti to make a, uh, a mistake on that pile line. Britt has got to go to the outside and he does just that. Coming out of turn four. Just holding the line. Now Pete Dalvin and Pazuni sees him. And can he hold him out? He sticks to that tight line. Has he got the power down the back straight? He hasn't. Peter Britton has taken him. He's confirmed. Now he can sit tight on that line. And now Britton starts stretching the lead down. He's just comfortably moving through this field. Second position and Scott Cannon in third. 
Peter Britton. That must be one of the best wins of the think you've uh, ever had. You went straight through the field. You had to work your way through. You didn't start at the front. You took your time. You worked your way through the field. And the old saying, you kicked A, mate. That was a brilliant <laughs> effort. Thanks, Frank. Yeah, it was um, obviously a pretty good feeling to you know, come from that deep in the pack and you know, start off with a flat tyre because of you know someone else's stupid driving. But, you know, I guess that's racing, as they say. But, um, yeah, we managed to come back from that, and it was a really good race. I mean, Andrew, he was fast. You now after that, when we first started, um, I switched to a slightly harder compound tyre and you know, he was just edging away from me a little bit and I was thinking, you know, come on, come on baby, come on baby, let's go. And um, you know, Troy didn't let me down as always and um, we started coming on you know, halfway through that session and yeah, it was, it was good. I managed to get around the outsider and then just, you know, stuck down the bottom, look after the tyre and yeah, ended up here in the winter circle again at Lismore Speedway. So it's always a good feeling. Yeah, that's it. I mean, for this sort of track, you know, it's a 50 lapper. I mean, you can't go, you know, all guns blazing at the start of the race. You've got to take your time. And, and that's something I learned in America this year, you know, doing 100 lap races. It's a, it's a whole different story compared to doing, you know, a 30 lap race. And even a 50 lap race is still an extra distance race. So it's, um, you know, my experience probably might have got me over the line tonight, but it was, um, you know, Bryn Lake, he's, he's been doing real well. He's, you know, obviously, I think he wins just about every time he goes out in the track in Western Australia.